How's it going, guys? I hope that you're having a happy Friday. I actually rushed home to see this episode, and it starts off um, not in the most positive light. Uh, we have Naomi and the other queens walking into the workroom, and Naomi has sent Manila home who was the strongest competitor in the competition. She had won the most challenges, and um, I don't know, it just didn't set a good tone for the episode. And I know last week I said that I previously um, had watched part of this week's episode, and Naomi says something to the fact that, you know, she sent Manila home, and life is not fair, deal with it. And then she goes on to say that she sent Manila home because she wanted to send her home. And um, another reason is that Latrice had saved her the previous week. And so she was returning the favor and she uh, sent Manila home and saved Latrice. And so I was really curious as to see how Latrice would react at the beginning of the episode and she is just completely nonchalant and I believe it was uh, Monique Hart who said that well how do you feel uh, because that Manila had left because when Manila couldn't save you she was so distraught and she was completely beyond herself and Latrice is just so matter of fact like she's just saying that you know this is a competition i love her but if one of us had to go it had to be her and i i really haven't liked the picture that i've seen latrice um po portrayed um this particular all-star season um see she really s seems that she's out for herself yes this is a competition but Manila has shown so much love for Latrice. And I actually really loved seeing that in Manila. Um, they came handcuffed in together. And then the, the handcuffs were removed. And um, I have just seen Manila being a really good friend to Latrice. And I haven't seen that returned. And I'm reminded of when... Uh, Trinity and Latrice won, I think it was three episodes ago, and Trinity, for the um, Queen of Clubs um, episode, and Trinity said that she was going to actually give one of the prizes that they won, which there were two different prizes, that she was going to give one of those to Manila. And so, I, I know that this is kind of like, um, it's an hour long episode and maybe a lot of it was edited down and maybe Latrice did cry, did shed a tear, but I would have loved to have seen her show um, some type of motion for Manila uh, being sent home. And so uh, fast forward, we have... Um, RuPaul coming into the workroom and saying that um, they are doing an acting challenge, um, which these acting challenges have been really brutal. And this one is called Sex in the Kitty Girl 3. It's a mockumentary based on um, the characters from Sex in the City, but with a slight twist. And so um, we have the four original friends and then a party girl. I think her name is Kristen. No, that is not Kristen, actually. I did not watch Sex in the City, so please forgive me. There's a um, Monique Hart is giving a party girl character who has died. I don't even know, excuse me, I don't even know what episode she dies in. Um, she just dies. And so... Um, the standouts for this acting challenge were Monique um, and Trinity. And I'll start with Trinity. Trinity had these kind of um, really quirky moments that really stood out, um, that were really memorable. memorable. Um, 
did she embody the character? I really don't think she embodied the character, but um, she had some great standout moments. The person who really sold it for me was Monique Hart. From the moment that she walked in, like, Monique just has, like, this great voice. And she is really able to become a character, but use herself as a vehicle to become the character. She's always Monique Hart, but Monique Hart's interpretation of this character. And I thought that her acting was brilliant, and I hope to see her in a future project. Um, <clears throat> everyone else was blah. Latrice was blah. Um, I really, I love Latrice. I think that she's an incredible performer. Um, she is the queen of queens, but she needed so much direction that she really faded into the background. And there were a lot of great lines that Latrice received that she could have really made for a memorable moment for this mockumentary, but she just fell flat to me. Naomi looked gorgeous. Um, I loved the outfit. Naomi really knows um, what her strengths are, and she really plays those up. Um, and she was kind of like the best SJP. Um, did she deliver? No. Um, it was so... Ex actually, I, I, I've never really watched Sex in the City. Um, and Naomi was not really actually using um, the character Naomi to give um, breath and a heartbeat to Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, I don't know, I just felt like she was playing like this like evil villain in her head and she really didn't understand the character, so I, I didn't like her. Monet really faded into the background. Um, I think that she had a few good moments, uh, but um, Trinity and Monique Hart really were the standouts. And the acting challenge overall was a bit of a mess for me, um, especially when it got, when it um, went to the, the clown Met Gala theme. That could have been completely edited out and we could have got a wonderful workroom moment with Rue and the other girls. Um, in the la the video from last week, um, I stated that I love kind of like Rue walking into the workroom and I would have loved to have seen that because it just felt like filler at this point. Um, and so... The fast forward, we're going to the runway, and the category is Cat Couture. And um, I really love the interpretations. And so the people that really stuck to uh, Cat Couture were Monique, Monet, and Trinity. And so Trinity was this very sleek. Um, cat with this form-fitting cat suit um, that had this beautiful airbrushing of leopard spots and stripes and the tail was actually very sexy and I love the mask that was over her face um, but it wasn't distracting from her makeup and so it really was this kind of like completed um, really stylized cat couture look um, and then uh, Monique Hart, um, it was a play on Puss in Boots and A Cat in a Hat. And the thing that I loved most about her look were her boots. The I have no idea what this material is, but the boots were um, really almost like kind of like new asphalt that has that gorgeous kind of like sparkling or sparkly effect um like what is that like mica um like this very shimmery type mica and so that's what the boots look like and they were um almost at her knees and just um so beautiful so so gorgeous the material of the boot actually matched the material of the hat 
and the hat was completely over the top. It was like one of those like Kentucky Derby type hats. And so uh, there was also a really kind of like, I think the, the feather was like, like a neon green material. And she also had a tail. So they were actually my top two toots of the week in terms of fashion. Um, and then we have Monet Exchange, um, who her interpretation of a cat was really like a mouse but I also got Pink Panther from the reference and so I think um, it could have been more detailed where the the rounded ears um, could have been shaved down a little bit to get an actual like cat ear and so Monique Hart's cat ears were, were perfect and so um, and something about Monique's outfit just seemed like she had like too much padding um it didn't seem like it f really fit her body like something was kind of like off with the proportions but i love the the makeup um was successfully executed i love that um naomi was kind of like this fashion kitty cat uh from new new york fashion week i think new york fashion week is this week um so it was like perfect um she was um this girl who is going to the club after New York Fashion Week, and it was a really cute moment. I can definitely see um, the other fashion queens like Milk really wearing that and performing in that. Um, Latrice, oh gosh, it, it seemed like low budget pageantry. Um, Latrice in a gown. Um, Latrice owns it, it seems like a million gowns and this one was so unimpressive so unoriginal um, it was just a complete boot um, I, I wish she would have like would have kind of like worked with a designer for her outfits for all stars um, because they just didn't look most of her gowns did not look good and so I um, I've seen her after All Stars, and I've been really impressed with the way she has presented herself. And so um, I look forward to seeing um, what Latrice, what her looks like, what her looks look like in the future. That was a tongue twister. Um, and so uh, we get to the um, remarks from the judges, and we learn that Trinity. And Monique Hart are the winners of the week. So they're the top two. And they go back into the workroom and they have a conversation with all of the girls. So Trinity, um, oh, and if the, this week, if you weren't in the top two, then you were um, in the bottom. And so we have Naomi, Monet Exchange and Latrice in the bottom. And so Trinity talks to all of the girls who are in the bottom. And so Naomi and Monet Exchange say that uh, she, should, she, she should send Latrice home. I'm not sure why I'm so like tongue-tied today. Uh, maybe it's because it's really late. I, I should be in bed right now. Um, and so Trinity then tells the other two, or, or Latrice, that the other two uh, want to send her home. And then Latrice says, oh my gosh, like they're gunning for me. And so Latrice and Valentina are spirit animals. If Valentina is in a French vanilla fantasy, Latrice is in a mocha vanilla fantasy because the delusion is thick and fluffy um i'm not sure where latrice's head has been in this particular season of all stars um but it's been all over the place and um her delusion is from the same family as valentina's and so i really hope that um after watching this, let Latrice kind of like um, really gets it together. Um, lose 
the pageant drag and kind of like elevate to something else. Um, I I would just love to see her kind of like um, either become like this sickening fashion goddess or even take it a little more dark, um, like maybe um, kind of like S and M or um, gore. But I just need something more from Latrice. And so um, we go back to the stage, and it was so fitting. So Super Bowl Sunday had just passed, and Super Bowl Sunday is National Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. And in the same week, we get a Janet Jackson song, When I Think of You, and it was so perfect. Um, I loved it. And so this was actually the first time during this season where I didn't know who was actually going to win the lip sync. Um, They both were uh, tied, really. Um, I wasn't wowed by either of their performances either. Um, They were both kind of blah. Um, Trinity um, might have given a little more Um, And so Rue actually chooses her as the winner uh, for the lip sync. Um, And so then uh, we it's kind of like the last 30 seconds of the show. And my heart is beating so fast. And Trinity reveals that she's sending Latrice home, which I really expected her to send Latrice home because Latrice um, has not been consistent during this competition. And so um, <clears throat> earlier, I kind of forgot to mention like my top things from this episode. One, Rue's legs have really come out to play this season. I'm not sure why, but I love it. I think Rue has like worn like three outfits that have shown her legs and her legs look incredible. Um, I don't even actually remember the outfit. All I remember are Rue, like Rue is like a a blonde head and legs. That's it at this point. Um, Whatever Rue is doing, um, I hope she keeps doing it because those legs are delicious looking. Um, Another thing that I love, of course, were Monique's boots. Um, Simply gorgeous. Um, I loved Trinity's performance look. It was like this exaggerated um, um, 80s women's um, business power suit um, with this really cool over-the-top leather belt. And I couldn't tell what type of shoe she was wearing. I couldn't see if she had on like black stockings with like a black heel because I I, I could not tell. Because at one point it looked like a sock, or stockings, I should say. And then another point it looked like boots. Um, And then uh, another thing that I loved this episode was um, during the acting challenge, when uh, Monique Cart first comes on, she loses her wig. And uh, Monet coins it chronic wig loss syndrome that was hilarious i was on the floor laughing all right so that's it for my review um i can't wait to hear uh what you guys thought of this episode um do you think that latrice should have went home um what do you think about Manila leaving? I now hear that um, Manila and Naomi are beefing on Twitter. Um, I think it's just kind of like them having fun and them um, trying to kind of like keep um, their name in the media and it's working. Manila has been interviewed from everyone from Entertainment Tonight Canada to Playboy and Penthouse. Um, she's everywhere and she's been looking incredible um and we will see more of manila um and so i'm really excited about that and we will of course see more of the top four and so we have trinity we have naomi 
Monique and Monet. And we get actually uh, a, a, a tiny glimpse into what next week episode will look like that will be the final episode of the season and i'm so excited um the the final uh shows for seasons um two and three were incredible um i love kind of like having like the choreography um the what the looks are like and um just seeing what the girls give and so I can't wait to hear your thoughts about this particular episode. And I want to know who do you think is going to win? I think Trinity is going to take it home. I would actually love to see either Monique or, Mon or Monet win, but I think Trinity is going to get it. Trinity um, has the most wins out of everyone else. I think she's going to get it. And then I'm actually excited because someone posted this kind of like spoiler and I thought it was going to be like a uh, like the gag of the century with Valentina actually coming back into the competition. And so um, that would be interesting if that happened. But I doubt it's going to happen because I, of course, we don't see her um, in the little glimpse that we that we saw. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're getting uh, great choreography from what I saw. We're getting uh, great fashions for the next episode. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next week for the final episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 4. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Besos.